The original Final Fantasy is a little dated, but a cornerstone of RPG design and the true original JRPG, in my opinion. And, as you may see by the title of this video, home to gaming's most bisexual icon, the Red Mage. There are three magic classes in FF1, but there are only two magic types. One may be able to see where I'm going with this. The two magic types are black and white magic, drawing from classical magic theory and medieval ideas on magic. White magic includes healing, light, and control of the earth or sky. And they would have been priest or cleric if not for Nintendo's practice of censoring anything from the Bible. Black magic has a lot of damage, dark, and fire spells, and a couple of other elements. They check each other, bounce each other, etc. Even if characters don't wear the traditional pimp and robes, many characters are still technically classed as white or black mages, like Yuna or Lulu from Final Fantasy X. The two types of magic bleed into other classes. This would be a multi-class in a Dungeons and Dragons setting, but in here they're their own job. Paladins use white magic along with swords and shields, since they're still physical fighters. Dark Knights use black magic, and also a sword. And for balance's sake, neither of these classes are as good with magic as their respective mage type, and they're not as good as a melee weapon as something like a gladiator or warrior would be. They sacrifice power for versatility. And similarly, there are red mages. In Final Fantasy I, there are four levels of magic, similar to the non-levels of spell in D&D. Only white mages are able to use the highest level of white magic, and black mages are able to use the highest level of black magic. The red mages, by contrast, are able to use the first two levels of both types of magic, making them technically equal in power. All three mage classes have access to four levels of magic, but the red mages have two of two instead of four. So they drop off in burst damage late game, but they always make up for it in versatility. Later on, they were given dual cast, which allows them to cast two spells in one turn. Since any red mage spell is usually about half as strong as one spell from any other mage, that's pretty fair. And some might call red mages greedy because they're also masters of melee. Their mastery of the rapier, the most noble and royal of swords, is because light and dark isn't their only dichotomy. They also master physical and magic altogether. Their abilities with the sword are then enhanced by magic, allowing them to stinger like Dante. And because of this, they also master ranged and melee, near and far. Quite a laundry list of abilities and dichotomies. So why aren't they gray mages if they can master white and black? Well, for the same reason bisexuals aren't really half gay or half straight. They're their own new thing, applicable to many things, really. They're powerful, wielding cr forces of creation and destruction, healing and damage, attack and defense, magic and melee. Look at them go. Bisexual royals. 